Hello, it's your boy Vince for Life. I made a boo boo. Um, I recorded my first head to head rant game and the audio didn't work. So I had this whole commentary, I had this whole thing for you guys and it didn't work. Oh well. Um, anyways, what's gonna happen is my first game is gonna be between the Dolphins and the Colts. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you the full game. It's only gonna be like 25 minutes. I was gonna edit it down, but I figured since the first video man 23 of the year, you guys might wanna see everything. So you are gonna get that. I promise in the future, the videos are gonna be more so format to what you're used to. That being said, enjoy the gameplay. Let me know what you think. Once again, this is my first ever online head-to-head -head rank game. So let's get in. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida and Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Miami Dolphins. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Opening play, here's Ryan. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Throwing again on second down, Ryan. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. To throw is Ryan. Got an open man, that's Campbell. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver trying to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Now Ryan on first down. Got a man. It's complete to Jelani Woods. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. The first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name. But I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Emmanuel Agba there on the stop. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Ryan. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Ryan. And he's got it. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped it to one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. 
They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Emmanuel Agba showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. When you're this close to the goal line, you got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards? Now it's Ryan. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. He's got daylight. The 30. And he will bring it back. It's a big six on a Dolphins touchdown. So just a tremendous play there defensively on his opening drive. Not just to make the interception, but to take it all the way home. And it felt like this was a defense that was on its heels a bit to start this thing off. Yeah, they pretty much let the other guys march right down the field until that moment. Yeah, key play there. Turned it all around. Big moment. Extra point. Throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. Yannick Ngakwe. Just as hard to say his name as he is to block. He's there in on the stop that time. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second and 12, Tua. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Colts are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. come to the line ready to start their next drive. But the good news for them, they got the football. The bad news, they have to go 99 yards here as they start this drive out on their own one-yard line. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. There's a lot about that play you could easily see coming. Backed up in the shadow of their own goal line, you know they're going to face pressure. He's lucky his arm was going forward. It was close, but it was going forward. Yeah, it could have been a safety or even give up a defensive touch. Fighting to get back to the goal line. I don't think he got there. He did not. Did not get back there. It's a safety. Every team has plays in their book to try to buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. 
And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. That'll go as a pickup of eight. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And he is going to lose yardage here. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Here we go. Here so we go. a nightmare start to the drive as they're already staring at second and long. Ready? From the gun, it's Tua. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Here we go. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Ready? They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. surge forward and pick up the first down. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They'll have a chance to really make that safety work to their advantage as they begin things here. Great field position on the plus side of the 50. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The name of the game is always on defense, put pressure on the quarterback. And that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. Tua to try again on second down. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. Hey, check Megan. Two are going to throw. And that's caught at the 25. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Going right back to Wilson. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 
call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Nine-yard line, second and six. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, moved the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. And they will run it with Michelle. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Sony Michelle taking it in from a yard out. And the Dolphins will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that could be important as that makes this a 16 point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Thirty seconds remain in this first half as they come up here first and ten. From the shotgun, Ryan. Caught by Woods. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to light, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. That's complete to Pierce. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Ryan. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. The Steve is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Ready, ready. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Ryan will throw again. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. He's going to take another shot here. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams likely making their final adjustments before the second half. So, time for us to go back downstate to Miami and rejoin Brandon and Charles. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started from the six. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. 
That's a tremendous start to the third quarter. These guys had their foot on the gas the entire first half. They continue to keep the accelerator down. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. He's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 56 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found it downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize, but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for. That big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch, take it to the house. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. I don't care what level of football you play. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go along and hope someone would come free. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and 10. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And it's a win to maneuver. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That good for 19 and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left in no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Ryan. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Nick Needham picks it off. 30. Past the 20. And he will bring it back. It's a big six on the Dolphins touch.